Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we move to the Serbian campaign, located across the region of Leskovac to Nagodin, Serbia, for what was called the Morava Offensive, which occurred between the Bulgarian 1st Army, operating under German Army Group Mackensen, against the Serbian 2nd Army between October 14th and November 9th, 1915. Lieutenant General Clement Boyadzev, the creator of the relief map of Bulgaria in 1902 and a recipient of multiple honors, commanded approximately 200,000 men, 108 machine guns, and 422 cannons in an attack against the Serbian defenders. Defending against him was Field Marshal Stepa Stepanovic, a lifer in the Serbian army having joined the army in 1874 at the age of 18 and served his way up from private and over the next 40 years worked his way up to Minister of Defense, finally becoming Field Marshal over the Second Serbian Army during World War I. Stepanovic had more than three times as many awards as Boyadziv, and they are too numerous to list, but I did want to include foreign awards such as the United Kingdom's Order of Bath as a Knight Commander. With him was 90,000 infantry, 94 machine guns, and 250 cannons. The winner today was Bulgarian General Clement Boyadziv and his First Army. Sadly, due to most resources we have access to with English, there is not as much detail as you'd find in resources for the Western Front forces. What is known is that the winter had not only started early in Serbia in 1915, but it was also incredibly harsh and made the attacking very difficult for the Bulgarians. They began the assault by securing the fortified areas of the valley of Morava River, Nis, and Piro. The initial assaults were extremely difficult as the weather combined with the dug-in positions of the Serbians slowed everything down. Unfortunately, Field Marshal Stepanovic never really stood a chance as he was outnumbered by more than double his force, resulting in a breakthrough by the Bulgarians 10 days after the battle had begun. The result was the Serbian 2nd Army retreating to Timok, but forcing the Bulgarians to fight for a total of 27 days and relinquishing only 90 kilometers of Serbia's territory. The casualties were not as high as many other battles, with the Bulgarian 1st Army suffering more than 1,900 men killed, 10,700 men wounded, and more than 900 missing, for a total of more than 13,500 casualties out of 200,000 men. The Serbians suffered approximately the same ratio with 6,000 casualties, which I was unable to break out out of 90,000 men. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.